What's up beautiful people? Welcome to another random rant where I talk about anything that I want from things that are happening to me to things that are happening around me. So everything and anything said here is my own personal opinion so please don't take it to the heart. Feels like not long ago we were just talking about racism and here we are another video about racism. Is this going to be like the new normality? For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, it's about the battle between Sarah, Sarah, sorry, Malay, Sarah. It's about the battle between Sarah and the People Association. Just to do a quick summary of the story. <clears throat> so not too long ago, a lady named Sarah actually called out the People Association for using her wedding photo without permission as a cutout stand for Hari Raya decoration. Basically, the vendors actually took their wedding photo from their Instagram or maybe Google search, I don't know, cut out their face and placed it as a cardboard standee. Da yung sampan, da yung, da yung sampan. What are you doing? I can't tinggal gedut face lah. But why? I want to put my face lah. The new Wonder Woman. What? Yeah, I boycotting lah. You know, free Palestine. Okay, personally, if it was a photo of me, I don't mind. So PA, if you want a model for Hari Raya Haji, can use photo of me. Just don't cut out my face. I can even wear a kambing suit for you. <laughs> but the big issue wasn't just regarding uh, intellectual properties, which the government is so uptight about. It's about cultural misappropriation. First of all, Malay wedding have nothing to do with Hari Raya celebration, okay? Hari Raya is a Muslim celebration, not Malay celebration. Muslim celebration, not Malay. Muslim, not Malay. In fact, I don't even know a single uh, Malay celebration. Uh, do we have like a Todak day or something where we go to the sea and pray and hopefully that the Todak don't come attack us again? So, regardless if you're Indian, Chinese, Arab, Caucasian, uh, African, alien, an Apache helicopter, or even a whip. As long as you're Muslim, you celebrate Hari Raya. After finding out that the photo was a breach of privacy, PA actually posted a public apology. To be honest, I didn't read the whole thing. Like, come on man, my attention span is very short. It's so short that you can actually audition for an Ewok. Ewok community, please don't flip me. No. But I did see that they wanted to meet the couple so they could move forward you know, to resolve the issue. It's a really big move, like if people actually wrong me, they apologize and want to rectify the issue with me, I would be like, wow, somebody actually admitted to their mistakes. Growing up in an Asian family, I never really had that. But as it turns out, just like many, Sarah felt that the apology post was unsatisfactory and things started to turn sour. So recently, PA stated that they will no longer meet the couple and claim that it has gone far beyond Radin Mas' uh, incident. They claim that this issue was beyond Sarah and PA because Sarah posted on her Instagram getting feedbacks from you know external parties and it was about racism. Honestly, I tried to find this post but for the life of me, I couldn't and I didn't see anything about Sarah crying out racism. So of course, I did what any lazy person would do. Facebook comments. And from a Facebook comment, I found out that there was some interview that Sarah had, which I didn't see by the way. And there was some reference about this issue being racism. This led me to think if this issue was indeed about racism. And I swear it hurts my brain. The question is right, was there discrimination involved? I don't think so, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. An example of discrimination is when one can wear a certain headdress for work but another couldn't. Dah dah dah, jangan start lagi. Nanti cerita pendek jadi cerita panjang. Macam abang kau punya semalam. Or it's like a certain race can serve in the Navy but another couldn't. Dayung sampan, dayung, dayung sampan. Where's your badge? Was there any ill intention to hurt the race? I don't think so. I just feel that this was actually an honest mistake. Let's face it, as a minority, we always have to correct other people's mistakes, especially when it comes to culture. To this day, people still pronounce nasi lemak as nasi lomak. It's nasi lemak, not nasi lomak. Lomak kau. But is it ignorance? No. You can't expect people to remember every little detail about our culture, right? Maybe they even have Muslim representative working on this project and made a mistake. I mean, even I get confused about my culture and I make mistakes. Could PA have done better and do a thorough internal checks before giving the green light? They should have. But please don't turn this issue into a bigger matter. If indeed you want to call for attention in regards to cultural misappropriation, then I suggest both parties should come together and talk it out. Please don't just randomly claim racism. 
Let's take it that PA is like a little boy who made an honest mistake about your culture. You don't go to the other kids and say, you know, hey, this boy racist, ah. don't friend him, okay? But instead, you educate them nicely. Also, I'm not saying you can't voice out your opinion. We can, but we have to discuss it behind closed doors. Sounds familiar, right? Full disclosure, everything I said here is to my knowledge. I believe both parties have taken things out of context and I'm hoping they could resolve it. I'm not siding anybody in regards to this issue and I strongly believe that both parties could have done better. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do like, share, subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe. Hi, Farah Hani. Dayong Sampan. Dayong, Dayong Sampan. Where's your badge? Da yung sampan, ga yung ga yung sampan, ga yung ga yung eh. I look so beautiful with two doors. <laughs>